The question is, in my opinion, how does Dajjal communicate and give orders to his followers? At the very end of the Quran, Allah warns us about Alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nas min al jinnati wal nas. Hmm? It is a inspiring or putting thoughts and ideas into the heart and as a consequence these people believe that these are their own thoughts. Hmm? He does this through the shayateen. Shayateen plural of shaitan. The Prophet said that the shayateen are going to be raised with Dajjal. This hadith in Kanzul Ummal. The shayateen are going to be raised with Dajjal. And these shayateen plural of shaitan, the jinn, eh? the jinn. These shayateen are going to do something very interesting. You should be hunabil and what? They're going to take the form of human beings who died. Your father died 40 years ago. And lo and behold, here is your father standing in front of you. He has the face, the appearance, the shape, everything of your father. He has your father's voice. He has your father's mind. He speaks to you as only your father could speak. Yushabbihuna bil amwat. Yakuluna lil hay and they will then speak to those who are alive. Ta'arifuni, what's wrong my son? Can't you recognize me? Ana abu, I am your father. Ana akhuk, I am your brother. Awzu qarabatim min, or some close relative. From this hadith, we know the link between Dajjal and the Shayateen. That's why there's so many of them in Washington. 